being said, we're joined by Syracuse Orange head coach Quentin Hillsman, student athletes Alexis Peterson, and Cornelia Fondren. Coach, an opening statement, please. Well, obviously, South Carolina played a tremendous basketball game. I give them a lot of credit. They uh, came out early and made some shots, and they made threes early. And we knew that if they came out and started making threes, we would have a problem. So we had a problem because they came out and they, and they made some shots. I thought that early in the basketball game, we did some things in the first three, three or four minutes of what, what we, were, we were trying to do. We, we really wanted to get up and pressure the ball, but, you know, just like that, the fouls were seven to one. So you got to stop pressing. You know, you really can't get up and be physical and be aggressive and, and pressure when you got seven fouls in, in the big of eye. So it kind of took, took our aggressiveness away a little bit when we had our players on the bench with fouls. But overall, you got to give Dawn a lot of credit. She had a great game plan. She came out, and her players that didn't make shots the first time against us that are capable shooters came out the second game tonight and made shots. So all the credit goes to them. Um, as far as my team, love them to death because they compete with anybody to the highest level. They don't, they don't play scared. They don't play conservative. We could have sat back and just let them come down the court and run 35 seconds off the shot clock and made it look good on the ticker, but we wanted to compete and to keep fighting and to keep playing hard the entire game. We're not going to lay down and submit to anybody. That's not how we, how we do it at Syracuse. So we're going to compete the whole game. So I thought that our kids gave it everything they had, and these are my kids. These are my daughters. So when they hurt, I hurt, like I said last game. And when they don't play well, I take it personal, but they play well. And I got to give them a lot of credit. They gave me everything they had. And as you can see, I gave it everything I have. And what I said in the locker room is, everyone should feel like I feel, have nothing left. And we ain't got nothing left. So as far as I'm concerned, our season was a great a success. Because if we had a game tomorrow, we couldn't play. Because we ain't got nothing left. So I'm very proud of them. Thank you, Coach. Questions for the student athletes. In the middle. Alexis, when South Carolina started to get on that run and you guys went cold from the field, just what was the mood of the team at the time and how tough was it to try to reverse all that? Um, it was very difficult. You know, we're playing in front of a large crowd. Um, so they were able to feed off their crowd's energy and uh, really make a run. And it kind of slowed us down and we got really stagnant. Um, and it, it played to their advantage. Question in the back. For either of you, you talked about yesterday that you were going to be ready for the atmosphere, but you just mentioned it there. How much do you factor do you think the crowd played into today's game? I think he played it. I think he played a big role in it. Because when we was in the Bahamas, they we didn't really have a crowd of our own. Both of us just played. But I think like being in their home, I think they gave them a lot of energy. Other questions in the back on the left on camera? Uh, for either of you guys, I uh, know this isn't the primary focus right now, but uh, looking ahead to next year, pretty much the entire team is coming back. Um, how optimistic are you guys that you can kind of build not only on this year, but last year as well going into next season? Um, I think it's great for us. Um, you know, we're a young group of girls, so the fact that we have our whole team coming back, it only plays to our advantage because we're going to have the type of chemistry that most teams won't have going into the next season. Um, and we're just going to look to build off this loss and learn from it. Any other questions for the student athletes? Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Questions for Coach Hillsman up front. Coach, uh, you packed him in the zone and kind of dared him to, to shoot outside. Just how <clears throat> or, uh, Asia Dozier makes three in the first five minutes uh, all from the three-pointer land. Just how uh, you know crucial to that was, was, was it for you to try to set up the rest of your game? Well, it, it was tough. I mean, we, we knew they had two shooters, Mitchell and Dozier. So we knew they were, they were going to make shots. We, we wasn't 
confused about that. Um, but I thought that what it what it what it really did for us is it made us start to start to come out a little bit and then increase their points in the paint. And that's what we really, really needed to control was their was their points in the paint. And obviously, when they're making shots, you have to honor that. You have to go out, go out and start guarding them. But you know, when you, when you look at it between those two, they made five of their eight threes, and you know, you knew they could they could shoot the ball. More more importantly, when they shoot sixty two percent in the first half, and we shoot twenty five percent in the first half, you're gonna lose that game. Question in the back. You said, you know, after the game the other night against Nebraska, you said you were going to come up with a little bit of a different game plan. And then yesterday you came in here and said you went back to the game plan. Thinking about it now, would you have changed the way you started the game? Not at all. Because I think the start of the game, I think the score was like 5-7. to seven. I, think, I, I think we were actually up. So, no, I wouldn't change it at all. Um, you know, when you're, when, you're, when you're playing a game and your best player's on the bench with fouls, it's tough. And... That's it. You know, we had played about 25 minutes without our starting center in the game. And that's their strength is interior game. Our, our center didn't play. I mean, she played 20 minutes. She played five minutes in the first half. It's tough to win that way. Question on the right side. You mentioned their interior game. Just how difficult is it to deal with their height and their inside game? That's oh, tough. You know, they, they do a very good job of sealing both both blocks, and and that scheme. I mean, the, uh, the, uh, to beat the zone, you either got to fill both of those blocks, or you got to fill that short corner. And they have two big players that can really score on both blocks, and they fill both blocks. It then causes us a lot of problems in the Bahamas because they didn't make shots. But the, but here it causes us problem because we had to play two guards on the block because we didn't have any post players. <laughs> Being a game, they they they're all in foul trouble. So we played four guards and, and one freshman center for most of the first half, and that was tough. Question up front. Quentin, I don't know if, you've even, if you're going to get the chance to even think about it, but thinking about next year, you've reached this point two years in a row. Is the next step for you guys with so many people coming back to be one of those top 16 seeds and host one of these things? That's no question. And, 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 and the good thing about it is that you guys are thinking about it because that's like the fifth question I've had about that. So that's good. So people are recognizing that we're here and we're a very young basketball team playing in this environment in the NCAA tournament, and it's tough. So you never know. You may have to come flip that back and do that in Syracuse. And you know what it's going to be there? Tough. Question in the back left on TV. National championship talk around here. In your opinion, is South Carolina a national championship contending team? That's no question. They have been from from day, day, day one. I mean, Don's done a, done a very good job with this with with this, with this program, and it starts with re recruiting men the best players. But she's done that. She's she's winning the in-state battles, keeping the best players in in-state, which which is huge. And but most importantly, she's a tremendous coach, and she's a great person. You know, I'm happy to call Don my friend. She's she's she's, she's good people. I'm really happy for her, happy for her um, success, and you know, hope she continues to do that here because she's doing a great job. And for us to come in here and play this game and, uh, and to lose here, we lost to a great team. They're 30 and two, 30, 32 and two. They won 30 plus games. So we have nothing to be ashamed of. We, we lost to a great team and a great coach. Question in the back on TV. Uh, Coach, looking at how this game played out, do you think it was a disadvantage at all playing that first game against South Carolina in that? It gave them a chance to kind of see what type of defense you were playing. No, I don't. I don't think it was. I don't think it was a disadvantage at all because we watched them too. So we, so we, so we watched each other. I don't think it had anything to do with that. Um, but what I, what I will say is that we had a tough game, our first game, and I think that kind of plays into it a little bit because we had to fight. I mean, we had to, we had to come back and we had to, you know, really press and run and jump and scramble a little bit. And so, I think that. That makes a little bit of a difference, but most of all, South Carolina made a big difference. They were really good, and they, and they had a great game plan, and they came out and they really executed at a high level. Any more questions for Coach Hillsman? Thank you, Coach. Hey, thank you. All right, guys, take care.